The Trump Express is about to chop her into Washington, D.C. One week from tomorrow will be the second Republican presidential debate, and the Republican frontrunner will mark the occasion by tomorrow, parking on the Capitol steps and in the only way he knows how, protesting the Iran nuclear deal. Trump is not out there on the trail this afternoon, though, but the other guy, the other candidate who has never before run for public office, he is reemerging after a brief break as he finds himself the new direct challenger to Donald Trump in the poll. CNN chief political correspondent Dana Bash is here. Dana, Dr. Ben Carson is on Trump's heels, second place in polls. He's addressing supporters right now in San Francisco. Then he's going to take questions from reporters. Uh, right now, he's staking out a position on immigration reform, specifically on what you do with the 11 to 12 million illegal immigrants in this country right now that's different from Trump. Very different and very interesting. Trump has said that everybody who is undocumented should be gathered up and taken out of the country back home where they came from. A lot of moderates have said that that's unworkable. And now Ben Carson agrees with them, saying uh, in an interview that that's just not an idea that makes sense. That, as Carson's rise, means more scrutiny. Ben Carson back on the campaign trail for the first time in 11 days. Right now, it's being replaced with the what can you do for me attitude. And we need to get rid of that and reinstill the can-do attitude. Carson's absence from the public eye didn't seem to hurt him, just the opposite. Over the past two weeks, his popularity has grown, second in Iowa at 22 percent, third in New Hampshire at 11 percent, and second place behind Donald Trump overall in the latest national poll. It's something about America. And yet the unconventional candidate is not in Iowa or New Hampshire or any GOP contest state, but the liberal bastion of San Francisco. Meanwhile, Jeb Bush, who ended the summer slipping in the polls, is starting to spend some of the big dollars he's raised to try to climb back up. With Republican voters right now yearning for new blood, non-politicians like Carson and Trump. As governor, I cut taxes. This first Bush television ad pitches himself as an outsider, but one with a record. If you want more D.C. politicians or more self-promoters, you've got options. I'm offering something different. Leadership, ideas, and a proven conservative record. And in an effort to show his personality and capture a large audience, Bush will appear tonight on Stephen Colbert's first Late Show after taking over for David Letterman, even as Donald Trump is out with another Instagram video mocking Bush as low energy. Jed, for all your sleeping needs. As for Trump, the man who took the top spot despite eyebrow-raising comments like questioning John McCain's war hero status, he says in a new biography he, quote, always felt that I was in the military, according to the New York Times, because he was sent to military school for behavioral problems. That despite never serving in the military and draft deferments during Vietnam. But it was Here good. he was on the and subject a few really years ago. Success is a very important thing. It's certainly been very important to me. And I can tell you that one of the great choices I ever made in terms of success was the choice of going to NYMA, New York Military Academy. I've loved it. It was terrific training. It was tough, but it was good. And tomorrow, Trump will come here to Washington and appear with Senator Ted Cruz. Trump uh, is really kind of arm in arm with Cruz. He's the person who's never criticized Trump, even though most of the other opponents have. Uh, they're going to rally on the steps of Congress as uh, that body debates the Iran nuclear agreement. And, Jake, uh, we just learned today that Democrats, at least those who are aligned with the president on Iran, they have enough votes now to stop uh, a Republican attempt to try to overturn that agreement. 41 votes being exactly. the key number. Dana Bash, thank you so much.